this week is one of the most interesting week in this entire coursework we will be introducing a very unique method which is completely different to the earlier methods that we have discussed in this lecture we started this week with a very proactive question about the need for using vector calculus and differential equations in modeling any electromagnetic problem we have been taught since school and college days that electromagnetic problems start with the vectorial description of electric and magnetic fields described by the maxwell partial differential equations we showed how and why this is a roundabout way for modeling any physical phenomena in particular electromagnetic problems we discussed how one can model electromagnetic problems without the need of differential equations and explained our approach involving discrete algebraic formulation instead of continuous differential formulation we introduced the theory of algebraic topological method starting with the lorentz force equation and defined the configuration and source variables involved in electromagnetic problems we also discuss how these global variables are related to certain topological entities such as points lines surfaces and volumes using a simple electrical circuit we introduce the concept of oriented and unoriented graphs or networks we explained the basic notion of homeomorphism which is normally seen in algebraic topological models we also introduced using examples basic terminologies such as 0 1 2 and 3 simplexes and their respective 0 1 2 and 3 chains building on these basics we introduced advanced concepts of cochains and also the most important operators in algebraic topology namely the boundary and co-boundary operators we explained the parallel connections existing between co-boundary operators operating on different cochains and the vector calculus operators namely divergence curl and gradient these relationships are the most important connections for modeling physical problems using algebraic topology without the need for vector calculus please carefully go through the concepts and examples that we have discussed in this week this is one of the unique opportunities for you to learn and master advanced methods such as algebraic topology the method of algebraic topology is normally couched in complex jargons and convoluted terminologies and hence it is always been a distant method to engineers and applied physicists we have tried our best to reduce this complexity by giving simple examples to explain complex terms please post your questions in the forum clarify your doubts about the terms and terminologies that we have used in this lecture and get ready for the next week until then goodbye